All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. And today we're going to be looking at a solid fragrance called Eternity Aqua. And this is a Calvin Klein fragrance. And this video is not going to be super long. I got this at a discount retailer. Uh, it was under $20. And this is a 1.6 fluid ounce um, bottle. And one thing I will say, here's the box that it comes in. Nothing too complicated. Um, this is a good, solid, mid-tier fragrance. So I would say if you're tired of cheapies that don't last, this is a great pickup that you can wear in the summer, uh, in the spring, and even into the fall. I think it'll be a little too light. It'll be suffocated or, or just, yeah, really suffocated by the cold weather. But I mean, you're grown, you can do whatever you want, but I really like this fragrance. And I know a lot of people say it smells like Polo Blue, and it kind of does because it has that cucumber note um, and some other similarities. But to me, this is kind of heavier on the musk when I initially spray it. It doesn't exactly smell like uh, Polo Blue. And I actually prefer Polo Blue, but it doesn't last um, from what I understand anymore. And that's the tough thing about fragrances is that you just really don't know until you put your nose on them. So I'll kind of mention some of the notes. Um, this is, to me, like a fresh summer fragrance. Um, it's not super heavy. You can wear it in the office. It's not going to like overwhelm people. And like I said, when I initially spray it, I smell musk. And then in the dry down, I start to smell some of the plum and some of the citrus notes. Top notes on this are cucumber, citruses, green notes, and lotus. Mid notes are plum, lavender, uh, Szechuan pepper, um, Virginia cedar, base notes are musk, sandalwood, patchouli, guiac wood. To me, like I said, I do smell the musk. Uh, and then the dry down, you definitely smell the cucumber and the citruses. And then at a point, everything just blends together. I mean, I think this smells fresh. I think it, it doesn't smell old or, um, you know, it's, it's definitely a lively scent. Uh, one of the things I will say about this scent is like, this is a smaller bottle than you would get uh, versus something like a, uh, what am I thinking? English Laundry. Like that's a, a cheapie that a lot of people buy. But I think this is well worth stepping up to because this fragrance lasts about five, six hours on me. Now when I'm out in the heat and it's like high point of summer and it's like 95 plus and you're out sweating, it's gonna evaporate, it's gonna go away. But if you're in like moderate heat or especially indoors, like I wore this one day and then I went to the gym and I could smell a little bit of a sea, maybe not a siage, but just little hints and things like that as I exercise. And that was like nine hours later. I'm not saying it's going to go nine or 10 hours, but I'm saying it's a solid fragrance and it doesn't suffer that, you know, evaporation and disappearing act that you see with like CK1 or CK Shock, other fragrances like that. This is a higher quality. And it's still a good price. And I'll kind of wrap with this. If you're kind of like tired of cheapies that honestly smell really good, but only last for an hour, this is a great pickup and a start to just upping your game a little it's bit. It's not like a projection beast, but it'll give you a good siage. I would say for about four hours and then you'll continue to smell it for, you know, five to six and it'll be a skin scent, you know, after that. But again, I really like this fragrance. Do I like it better than Polo Blue? No. There are, again, some English laundry fragrances that I like better than this one, London. But you have to overspray so heavily and just pray that they hold out. And you don't have to do that on this one. You cannot break the bank, get a good scent, um, and kind of rock with this. Um, it does smell aquatic. So yeah, I mean, I would say this is like a fresh aquatic scent. And I really, really like the cucumber note. I think that makes it pop off. And again, it's weird to me because this one kind of works in reverse where I kind of smell the musk and, you know, some of the sandalwood and stuff like that on the initial spray. And then as it dries down, it gets lighter to me. And so that was a pleasant surprise because if it's, I'm not a huge fan of musk and I understand it has staying power and that gives a good base to fragrances, but I like how this one dries down and uh, you get a little sillage of lighter fresh scent with a good cucumber note. So you'll have to check it out. You want to put your nose on it, but I think it's well worth a try for the price. 